Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to It Is Sunday. Hence why no makeup yet. I just woke up. It's about nine um, and I decided I was gonna get up and get ready for the day. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm cutting up a lemon to put in my water. Um, and I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal. And I just thought today, listen, um, if you, again, I've said this maybe a thousand times, but if you told 2023, January me, that I would be up excited on a Sunday for football, like I've always enjoyed like watching football here and there, like um, with my dad, my dad's always been like a huge Patriots fan. So I've watched games here and there with him. However, like this is like a new level of excitement. I'm like, oh my God, tonight's the divisional playoffs between the Chiefs and the Bills. Like I am genuinely excited. And like last night um, I even watched like the other games. Like who is she? I'm actually so into football now. And I'm not literally just saying that because we all know how much I adore and love Taylor Swift. Like I genuinely enjoy football. <laughs> Anyways, so my point is I'm excited and it's put me in a mood just like to get my stuff done, be productive and be up. And I wanted to vlog because I thought it would be fun to vlog today um, since I'm now excited about football. So like I said, I'm just cutting up a lemon, making a little cereal, and yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with you guys today, and we're gonna watch the game together. That's crazy. I think Taylor will probably go. Um, I don't see why she wouldn't. I love seeing her outfits. I love seeing like her excitement. It's just so much fun. Like I, I, I adore it so much. Like it's just like a good excuse to see Taylor's face like again and that just brings me so much joy um but yeah like honestly like watching the game is really really fun like when the Patriots and the Chiefs played I had my dad over and we ordered pizza and it was really really fun and then um last weekend was it last weekend yeah all the weekends go by so fast but last weekend my mom and I sat down and watched the Chiefs game together with the Dolphins like last Saturday, it was, and we ordered pizza and stuff. Like, it's just fun. It's just fun. Why am I so into it? Anyways, today's big game against the Bills and the Chiefs. And so, who is she? I'm genuinely excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we'll see where I go from here. So I figured while I eat my breakfast, I We'll go ahead and start editing a video for you guys. It is my 1989 huge unboxing and try on haul. So I'm excited. I'm gonna eat my Fruit Loops. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, my footage is importing. Can't do anything with it yet. Let's look at my snap memories for today. And six years ago today, January 21st, 2018, there's a picture of me full glitter on my eyeballs, red lipstick, and a New England Patriots shirt on. So like, maybe it's not so far stretched that like I'm excited because like, I don't know, it's an event and it's like, oh, this is kind of fun. Then I kept scrolling a little farther and um, I saw a video of my grandpa and my grandpa passed away in 2020 and it just, it made me really sad. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, it hits me sometimes. It's been, it'll be four years in July, and it just doesn't feel real that he's not around anymore sometimes. Like, it's just, I, it's just, it really hit me too, like when I moved into my apartment, because like I always remember him like talking to me about like how when, um, when I went apartment hunting for the first time, he wanted to come with me because um, he wanted to like make sure that I was safe and um, just all like the little things like that. And I really like remember that conversation. So like when I moved into my first apartment, <clears throat> not that I don't miss him like every single day, but 
that really just was like one of those moments that I was like, oh my God, like I can't believe he's not here anymore. But when I see like little memories like that, it just reminds me that like he was like the freaking glue. Like my family's incredibly close, um, but my grandpa was like the glue. Like it, he just, oh, I miss him so much. Anyways, um, I'm glad like though that I go through my Snapchat memories and I, I document my life so much because it's so important for me to like reflect on memories. It's so important for me to like look back on my life um, so yeah, anyways, um, I was not expecting my Snapchat memories to give me so much today, however it did, um, so yeah, I'm just sitting here, I'm probably gonna go, uh, get, right. I wanted to do a little fit check for you guys today, um, it looks like Speak Now Taylor's version threw up on me, and you know what, I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. So I have on my Speak Now Taylor's version necklace that I got from Etsy, and then my Koi Fish Sherpa. It is so comfortable. I am obsessed. Listen, it is so cute. And then, guys, so the other day, I was on Aerie, and I was like, Emma, should I order a pair of leggings from Aerie? And she was like, absolutely yes. Now. I was persuaded very easily because I saw that they have short leggings and I'm 5'1", so sometimes when I order leggings, um, they like to drag across the floor um, if I don't get them tailored, if you will. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm sold on them. I put them on this morning, they came last night. They are so comfortable. I got the flare ones. They're so incredibly comfortable and they're perfect. They don't sweep the ground, but they feel like butter smooth. Like they're just so perfect. Um, I fear I've opened up a can of worms and I feel like I'm gonna have to own every single pair of airy leggings now because they're perfect. Oh my God, like they're so worth what I spent. And I think they were like $40 because I needed a good pair of leggings and uh, I got them anyways. I finished editing my 1989 unboxing and try on video and then well, I also did my makeup. So I'm ready for the day. That's exporting. So now I'm going to go ahead and film a couple of videos for you guys. Um, the one that I'm going to film right now, I'll go ahead and give you guys a little, you know, if you're watching this vlog, a little heads up. I'm filming a CD collection because last weekend I did a vinyl collection so I thought this weekend I'd film a CD collection so that's incoming your way and then I'm probably gonna run out and get some coffee because that's necessary. Here's a little behind the scenes for you guys. I have every single CD lined up in era order and then my autographs in somewhat order. Um, let the chaos begin. I meant to tell you guys this in the beginning of this vlog but Oh my god. So in my Valentine's Day vlogs when I was going to like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I mentioned to you guys, I was like, I would scream if I ever found one of the lipsticks Taylor told me about. I went last weekend with my mom to a TJ Maxx that we had not gone to in a hot minute. Like we took a little drive and went to this one and I was leafing through them all and I found Double Dare by Kat Von D for $6.99 at TJ Maxx. And best believe, I stood in a very long line to buy it. And then the other day I was like, okay, I kind of want Chick-fil-A for dinner. And so I went to this area that had like a Chick-fil-A and a TJ Maxx. And I was like, you know what? I'm not starving yet. So like, I'm gonna go ahead and like wander around TJ Maxx or funsies, cause I'm a girl. It's what I love to do. And I was like leafing through every single one of them. Like I was looking so hard and I found another one. Like, so if you guys are curious, it's the Everlasting Lipstick in Double Dare. And that's the one Taylor told me she was obsessed with on Tumblr one time. I am just so happy because they've been discontinued and the uh, Back in Vogue by MAC was also discontinued. <sighs> if I ever found that one, I would literally scream. Anyways. I am very much in the mood. It's cold out, but I'm, what is happening to my hair? Um, anyways, um, I am very much in the mood to like go out and about and I kind of want, 
I do want a nice coffee. It's 30 something degrees and I want a nice coffee. Coffee is year round for me. It could be sub-zero and I'd be like, give me a nice coffee. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and I think I wanna go to Hallmark and look at the Jelly Cats. Not that I'm gonna get one cause they're pretty expensive, but like, I just wanna go look. I'm in the mood to look. So we're gonna go look. <laughs> Now I look like Speak Now just threw up on me even more. I decided to put on my Speak Now hat because my hair was not doing its job today. So here we go. Medium iced coffee with cream and caramel, please. So this is always where I find Kat Von D. Um, they have a Lolita one. They don't have Double Dare. Guys, look at the little luggage tag makeup bag. It's so adorable. Guys, this Paris mug is gorgeous. Oh my god. Is this supposed to be like Taylor? Like a knockoff Taylor? This statue is so cute. Guys, I don't know if you guys watch Maddie Kearns. She goes and finds all these dachshund items on TikTok. She is literally, I watch her every single day. I found one of the items she's looking for and just made me think of her. This is sincerely so freaking cute. You know, it's always so much fun to like walk around TJ Maxx, Marshall's Home Goods. Like, I can always walk around there and I never get tired of walking around there. Anyways, I didn't find anything that I like wanted and that's probably good. My bank account says thank you. Um, but that little dachshund was so cute and it just, like I said, it made me think of Maddie Kearns and um, I watch her TikToks every single day. Like I look up her name, I follow her. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, where'd she go today and look up, look for dachshund items. Like, I love it. So whenever I see a little dachshund item, I think of her. Anyways, I've decided that I want to go get wings and a crab cake with my dad. This is why I say football's fun. Because um, I was like, hey, do you want to go get wings and a crab cake at our favorite spot um, before it gets too crowded for football? And he was like, absolutely. So now... I'm gonna go have a little lunch with my dad, which is so much fun. Like, go Chiefs. Like, it's just it's just a fun game day thing, you know? Go get some like wings. Let's go do it. <laughs> I am back home. So I had a really good time. I went out TJ Maxx and then my dad and I got some wings and a crab cake at our favorite spot so that was really fun and i came home and i immediately put on my slippers because when i tell you it is really really cold outside um but anyways i just saw my nerd scummy clusters and i'm like i want one i keep putting like different valentine's candy in this little oh in this little jar that i got from dollar tree the buccaneers and the uh the lions are playing right now and they're playing at Ford Field, which I've been there, which is so cool. It's always cool to see like places you've been on the big screen. Like it's just, it's crazy. Cause when you walk in there, it doesn't seem as big as it is on the screen. It's just, and sometimes it feels the opposite. I don't So personally in this game, I am rooting for the Lions. I have not even seen the score. The uh, game started about 20 minutes ago. Um, I'm rooting for them because number one, I have been to Ford Field. So like, why not? I've been to their, their home stadium. Number two, most importantly, they haven't been in the playoffs in a long time, so I decided I'd root for them. And then, of course, the Chiefs and the Bills play in about three and about three hours now because it's 3:23. So I'm very excited. I'm just gonna chill and get some things done, maybe edit a little bit, and yeah. So I'm gonna charge my camera first off because it is about to die so one thing that i definitely need to do is put away all my new taylor crewnecks and shirts and <laughs> everything that i got the other day when i did my um 1989 unboxing so i'm gonna go ahead and do that they are officially now all hung in my 1989 section of my taylor side of my closet so i decided since i didn't go get another coffee i'm gonna make a hot cocoa but I'm gonna use the hot cocoa bomb that I got at a little place that Emma and I always go to, and I am so excited. It's a cookies and cream place bomb and mug pour. Oh, okay. Actually, my mom and I were talking about this the other day. When you do a hot cocoa bomb, do you drop it in or do you pour over the milk? 
I think I'm just gonna heat up the milk and drop it in. I'm not following the instructions, but here we go. Okay, I put it in this little cutie cutie cat mug that I got from TJ Maxx. All right, let's go. Oh, maybe I should have listened. Rachel should have definitely listened. Mm-hmm. Okay, crisis averted. This looks very good now. <laughs> the crisis was my own fault, so. Also, look at this little, like, ornament. It's actually a magnet, but I thought it was really cute here. Um, it looks like my cat, but, like, vintage. I found it at a little store that my mom and I always go to. I think it's adorable. Oh, I'm so sorry to my cat because we were curled up on the couch and then she, okay, she's there. She's wearing another, oh, she's with Brittany. There she is. Oh, she's so cute. I love football. I love football. <laughs> I was really tired. And then I saw that and I suddenly am not tired. <laughs> After shower fit check. So, Taylor's there with like Jason and Kylie and the whole Kelsey family. His mom, his dad, her friend Ash is there. She looks adorable. And so I had to put on my Kansas City colors too. So I got this from Dick Sporting Goods. And honestly, I got it as like a joke, like, oh, I'll wear it around, but I've worn it a lot, <laughs> a lot. Anyways, and then I have my little heart pajama pants on. I'm gonna make some leftovers, and by the way, that hot chocolate was very good. And yeah, I'm so excited, honestly, I'm really excited. Okay, quarter two update, we're losing. But it's still, that's how I feel. Me too. Um, however, we're still early in the game, so it's okay. Cannot believe I'm stressed over a football game. Um, okay, so I just wanted to tell you guys, these Snapple drinks, they're like the sun drinks, they're new. My mom just got me these, and she was like, I want you to try these, so she got some, put them in my fridge, and let me tell you, they are so good. Like, I cannot wait for summer now, just because I can't wait to be like outside, you know, enjoying the weather and drinking one of these. Like they're so light and refreshing. They hit, they're so good. I cannot stop it. And they're like pretty good for you, so it's life. So I've decided that I'm gonna make friendship bracelets because why not? Um, I got these cat beads a little bit ago at Hobby Lobby and I really want to use them. So, we're, oh, please score. <laughs> Travis just scored a touchdown. <laughs> I got way too excited. <laughs> I was really feeling the Travis touchdown. Jason took his shirt off. <laughs> Help. Chevy I'm just, I'm dead. Help. Okay. Thank God I wasn't making a bracelet. Thank God. Okay. <sighs> Let's get it. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, you know, leave it to Taylor. Leave it to Taylor to like get me excited about football. But like, if that's what it took, like honestly, I'm having a great time. I'm gonna have a great time. Jasmine was asleep on this blanket. However, she is. She's gone the other way because I guess I'm being obnoxious. Hi, Jazzy. Hi, pretty. I made a karma bracelet and I made a pro cat bracelet. All right, fourth quarter update. Emma and I are FaceTiming making friendship bracelets. Um, let me tell you, this game is not like, oh, we've got this in the bag. This is like, okay, I need them to intercept it and I need them to go get a touchdown so we're like farther away, right? Because we keep getting like three points apart and it's not, it's not, yeah. Anyways, Taylor's adorable. Jason's hilarious. So regardless, I'm having a great time and Travis scored two touchdowns, so 
we're, we're slaying, but like, let's just keep it going. Um, now Emma and I are about to make matching Tay Princess bracelets because we think it's funny. So we're just having like girl football night, you know? Oh no, we've got 14 minutes left in this game. Mm hmm This could be Taylor's last game of the season or we might have next weekend and we're gonna hope we have next weekend because I am not ready for the serotonin to go bye-bye. So, come on boys. <laughs> Never in my life thought I would be so stressed about a football game. However, Rachel was stressed about a football game. And you know what? That's character development, if you will. Um, Chiefs won, so next weekend they go to Baltimore. And if they win against the Ravens, they go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Taylor will be a state away from me if she goes next weekend, which is insane. Insane. Anyways, um, I can't wait to watch. They play at three, and I immediately said, well, guess I'm not doing anything on Sunday. So, anyways, this was really fun. I just wanted to vlog because why not? Um, I think it was a fun little vlog and you guys seem to love vlogs. And so I'm gonna sit on my couch, I'm gonna eat some ice cream and I'm gonna chill for a little bit. And yeah, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. And yeah, it was really fun. It really was in the end, win or lose, like it was still fun. Um, but it was fun to see them win. So anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like the vlogs. I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.